how to sort yourself out. That is the mantra of international sensation Jordan Peterson. I'm sure you have heard of him, clinical psychologist. He's been giving lots of great life advice videos. People have cut out the best bits and put them in two to six minute chunks on YouTube. I'm sure you've seen some of them. I'm Anthony Samaroff, um, author of the free ebook, Procrastination Annihilation, which you can get at beyourselfandloveit.com forward slash do it. You can download it for free. Now, <clears throat> a lot of us are thinking these days about how to sort ourselves out because there's a lot of crap going on in our lives, but it seems like a big mountain to climb going from where you are now to where you want to be. So here is a cheeky, easy, do-it-yourself method for um, changing your life for the better and getting from where you are now to where you want to be. And let's say we'll create a um, program for you that's maybe three months long and will help you. So that's, not a, that's a relatively unscary amount of time to commit to. And if it works for you, I'm sure you will want to commit to doing it in the future. If you find it useful, don't be afraid to smash that share button. So what I suggest you do is take some time to think about if you were living the life you wanted to live, what would you actually be doing with your time? What would you do when you woke up in the morning? What time would you wake up? Uh, what would be the first thing you do? What would you eat? What would you do at lunchtime? What kind of work would you be engaged in? What would you be your hobbies? What would be the helpful habits that you undertook every day? And take a little time to write about this, right? A few pages on it, but focus on what you would actually be doing. What are the activities that you'd be doing? Don't just think, oh, I'd be rich. If you were rich, what would you be doing being rich? Don't just think, oh, I'll, when I move out, I'll be in the country. What would you be doing in your house out in the country? Now, what I'd like you to do afterwards, part two of the exercise, is to go through that and identify a list of maybe 10 to 15 things, individual things. So say, I get up at 7 a.m., or I would do 20 minutes meditation, I would floss my teeth, I would practice yoga, I'd write, and if it, um, uh, how long would you write for? I would practice some music, I'd practice the guitar, I'd... What are the individual things? What are 10 to 15 things that you would be doing during that day? So write down a list, and once you've got your list, see if there's any of those things, maybe some of them you can't do now, um, but there must be many things on that list that you could be doing now that you're not doing. And it's a big ask for you to go from not doing those things to doing all of them. So take six of them, pick six of them, take a mixture between easy ones and challenging ones and write down a list of six things that you know that if you were doing three months from now that your life would be unrecognizably better. Uh, then what I want you to do, final part, here's the big one, is choose one of those things and commit to doing just that one thing every day for a fortnight, for two weeks. Get a chart and maybe put it up in your fridge or something like that, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and every day for two weeks, see if you can perform that one action. If you miss a day, don't beat yourself up. Don't say, oh no, I've screwed it over. I'm never going to get this. Just go back to the beginning of the two weeks. If you keep screwing it up, you've chosen something that's too difficult for you right now. Choose an easier task and make a commitment, make a strong determination to do that one thing every day for two weeks. Maybe it's one of my favorite practices, which I do every day, but used to find difficult, which is journaling for three days pages, three pages, that really changed my life. So choose something, but choose something relatively easy to begin with and do it for two weeks without missing a day. Once you've done that, you can go back to your list and choose the second one. Choose a second thing because now that you've been doing the first one for two weeks, it won't be so difficult for you to do. It won't be such a strain on your willpower. If you think this is useful, smash the share button, share it on your wall, share it in a group, send it to someone that you care about. Now you can go through your list of six things and gradually build up to the point where every time you've managed to do one for two weeks without missing a day, add another one. If it's too challenging for you, 
take your time. Make sure you build at least one thing into a proper habit so that it's not so difficult for you as it was when you've started because habits are hard to break. So once you've got a good habit, it's gonna serve you. You won't be at the mercy of your habits. Your habits will be helping you. But if you try and change everything at once, that just takes too much willpower and it's impossible to do. If you're excellent at this exercise, within three months, you'll be doing six little things every day. Nothing that takes more than, say, 20 to 30 minutes. So if you choose writing or practicing an instrument, just start with 20 minutes a day. You can always bump it up once it's already a habit. So that's my advice for sorting yourself out. Figure out what you would be doing in an ideal world, write a list of things to identify the things that you want to be doing with your life, and then choose six of them and commit to doing each one of them for two weeks without missing a day. And by the end of the day, you'll be doing six things, you will have sorted yourself out. And I know that if you've managed to do that, you won't actually have to ask my advice of what to do next. You'll just keep on adding things and building excellent habits into your life. You can get my free ebook, Procrastination that Annihilation, at beyourselfandloveit.com forward slash do it. Please, please, please share this video. I want to get to other people and help them as well. Thank you for tuning in.